I've interviewed a lot of different sports people. I cover a lot of different sports. And Ronnie O'Sullivan is right up there in terms of the most compelling characters I've ever met. I mean, there's, there's one thing watching him on the table and the, the artistry that he does with the cue. But then when you speak to him after a match, you don't quite know what you're going to get. You don't know what mood Ron is going to be. Will he be in quite a jovial, mischievous mood? Will he be quite in a rebellious mood and actually not want to talk and not want to give too much? He's constantly fighting against authority. It's the theme of his entire life, isn't it? He's a bit of a rebel. He doesn't like being told what to do. Certainly in the sport of snooker, he's earned the right to have the status of being the sport's greatest player of the world, number one, seven-time world champion. He has to sometimes toe the line. He doesn't always quite like that, to be honest. But I think he's got to that stage in his life where he's got outside interests, where snooker, although it's an important part of his life, is just one strand. And he has all these other different business activities. He does a lot of punditry work, for example. Sometimes like going, he likes going over to China, playing to those type of crowds. He even wants to play Chinese ball at some stage. So Ronnie's been able to, he doesn't just see snooker as his, his one dimensional thing. In tunnel vision of snooker, he has different strands, different hobbies and interests. As I say, a very incredible character when you meet him. And as journalists, we get a chance, because there's not many people that cover snooker. So when you're in a, a press situation, there might only be two or three people that are talking to Ronnie O'Sullivan. And as I say, I mean, he comes up with some tremendous lines. He's tabloid gold, that sort of thing. And, and I think he's always had a very respectful relationship with the media, basically. He knows how to get a headline. He knows how to use the media. But he also, it's on his terms. If he doesn't want to give you something, that's his decision. But I think you have to respect the man, what he's achieved. And as I say, the sort of journey, the story that he's been on for the last 30, 40 years. In November, December, the Amazon Prime documentary came out and it was the Ronnie O'Sullivan uh, two hour show. And they basically filmed Ronnie throughout the Crucible run in 2022. I even make a very small cameo when he credits my hair live on camera during the press conference. I thought it was quite funny. But the star of the show, apart from Ronnie himself, of course, I thought was Damien Hurst, who is the you know, one of the greatest living artists on the planet. And I just thought his relationship, his friendship, the way he was talking, the sort of, the way he was able to analytically sort of look into the complex character that is the world number one, the seven time world snooker champion, I thought was fascinating. In that documentary, he just talks about the contradictions of Ronnie, the fact that one minute is high, one minute's low, the fact that he can beat himself, you know, up on the table and yet just do a 147 clearance. He can win a match 6-0 and then criticise himself for playing poorly. And it's incredible, Damien Hurst. And I think Ronnie also has a long-standing relationship with Ronnie Wood, who is a member of the Rolling Stones. Uh, those two partied quite a lot in the 1990s. Those days have long gone now. They prefer to eat uh, sort of scones and, and clotted cream and jam at the moment behind backstage rather than anything stronger. But they had a really long-standing relationship that goes back to the 90s when Jimmy White was in his peak reaching world finals. And it just shows you that Ronnie and Damien, who both went to the Premier in London last month, can see a genius at work when they know one. They're both obviously exceptional in their own fields, but they love nothing more than sitting down for a couple of hours and watching Ronnie O'Sullivan play a game of snooker.